If you have a website, then you must be looking for a way to get traffic, don't you? In order to get a steady flow of traffic to your website, you need to start by planting the correct seeds online, which will eventually yield traffic sources. We'll go through some of the best techniques to get free traffic to your website, so you can make a decent amount of money. Hey, folks, welcome back to Money Tree. Today's video is going to be really helpful for those who are struggling to get traffic. So, share this video with your friends who are struggling to get traffic. No matter if you are a beginner, this video will help you a lot. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Number 1. Participate in social discussion forums. It is essential to have a social presence online, just as it is vital to go to events in real life to meet new people and expand one's network. You can engage in a variety of talks by visiting social discussion forums online. You may help by asking good questions, providing insightful answers, and interacting with others online. By doing so, you'll pique the interest of those with whom you communicate, causing them to visit your profile and learn more about what you do. Make it a point to direct people to your website from your social profiles, so they know where to go to learn more about you. To mention a few, we encourage discussion forums such as Quora, Reddit, and Whirlpool. Aside from that, you can request to join a number of social media discussion groups. Just make sure you follow their social etiquette to stay an active member of the community. Number 2. Interview Influencers Interviewing influencers and releasing the interviews on your website is another great way to drive tons of free traffic to your business. Influencers are those who have a huge social following. You attract more website visitors by interviewing them and sharing the interviews. The essential goal here is to ask the influencer to share the interview on their social channels after it has been completed. Because you're leveraging the influencer's audience size, this delivers a significant traffic increase to your website. By interviewing influencers, you're also generating a strong social network and a virality around the content you produce. An influencer's shared piece of content is like a content asset on steroids for marketing. You'll note how it continues to be shared by individuals in the influencer's network, which can generate a lot of free website traffic. The issue with this strategy is convincing the influencer to have an interview with you. This takes time and might often take months before they agree. Never give up since even a single influencer interview might provide you with the much-needed increase in website traffic. Number 3. Online Webinars If you want to interact with your audience in real time, webinars can help you connect with them while providing informational value. Choose a webinar topic that will be of interest to your audience. If you're in the coffee business, hosting a webinar on making a great cappuccino could be a great idea. To increase registrations, Choose a webinar topic that your target audience is interested in. The problematic aspect of webinars is getting people to attend them. As a result, you should start publicizing your webinar a few days before it takes place. Allow time to send two to three reminders via email and text message before the webinar so that your registrants don't miss it. We recommend that you provide solid value in your webinars. Many of them provide general information to people, leaving them disillusioned. Make an effort to be unique and genuine in the way that you run your webinars by employing them as a tool to gain a deeper understanding of your clientele and encouraging interaction between you and them. Give your attendees crystal clear and specific calls to action at the conclusion of the webinar so that they are aware of exactly what they should do next. Number 4. Ask others to guest blog on your blog. You might invite people to contribute guest posts for your website's blog in the same way that you might reach out to the editors of other blogs. It is possible that you will be on a roll if you are successful in luring notable individuals, such as writers or influential individuals, to contribute content to your site. People pay attention to those considered to be influential, and they are interested in reading material published by outstanding authors. You will develop content goodwill for your blog if you work together with other content creators who already have a sizable social following, or with anyone else who is able to produce exceptionally high-quality content for your site. This is the intangible value that your content produces for your audience, which compels them to revisit your website in order to take in even more of your published work. If you offer visitors a compelling incentive to visit your website, 
you'll start seeing a significant increase in the amount of free traffic you receive very quickly. You just need to do this. You will be able to draw a substantial amount of free visitors to your website over time if you have a methodical approach to put the aforementioned suggestions into action. Keep in mind that generating free traffic is a marathon, not a sprint. So be patient until you begin to see significant benefits in your efforts. Now you've got the traffic on your website. Now I'll tell you how you make money from it. I'll share the best ways to start monetizing your site today. Here are the best ways to monetize your website. Number 1. Advertisements on your blog Advertisements that take the shape of articles and typically include a link to the advertiser's website are known as sponsored posts. These posts are also sometimes referred to as advertorials. Even if an advertiser may offer you the piece, if you are able to write the material for them, you will come out ahead financially because you will be able to charge for your time as well. Depending on how many people visit your website, you might get anywhere from $35 to more than $200 from a sponsored post. Join blogger network groups on Facebook and post your website, as this is where advertisers will be looking for content to advertise on. Note that according to the regulations that govern advertising, if a third party pays you to publish an article on your website, you are required to always include the phrase sponsored post on the page someplace. Number 2. Include a business directory. Create a page for a business directory in which companies can pay you a certain amount to have their company included in the directory. You might charge a monthly or annual listing fee, and the amount that you charge could range anywhere from £20 to £500 and even more per year, depending on the volume of traffic that your website receives. Take, for instance, that you ran a website that provided reviews of various types of sound systems. You could charge independent merchants, both offline and online, to be featured on a page that lists places that sell high-end speakers. If you assume that sites like Amazon are probably already rather successful. Number 3. Ask for donations. If people enjoy the information on your website, consider installing a paid PAL donation button and requesting that they give you a couple of quid about the price of a cup of coffee if they like your content. If you have a Buy Me a Coffee page, you could also link to that. Donations power the entirety or a portion of the operations of some of the most popular websites on the internet, including your buddy and mine, Wikipedia. In the end, if you don't ask for something, you won't receive it. Number 4. Create an Amazon Store page The wonderful thing about Amazon is that they sell virtually anything and everything you could possibly want to buy. Therefore, regardless of the subject matter of your website, there is a strong probability that Amazon carries things that are pertinent to your needs. You can easily create a separate Amazon Store page on your website, and if people look to you as an authority on the subject, they will pay attention to your suggestions regarding the things they should try that are pertinent to them. If one of your readers makes a purchase, after following your link to Amazon and signing up for Amazon's affiliate program, which you can do here, you are eligible to receive a commission ranging from 1% to 10% of the sale price of the prod. Number 5. Become a consultant. Why not offer your services as a consultant in exchange for an hourly feed if you have extensive knowledge in a particular area? Advertise your business on your website and make your specialized knowledge available to customers through paid webinars, podcasts, or even a Skype conversation in which they pay you in advance to gain access to your information. No matter the distribution method you go with, if people come to your website looking for expert explanations and opinions, you need to seriously consider charging them for some individualized guidance. This list is just the tip of the iceberg. Its purpose is to inspire you to take real action and get your website going.